Hello Christians, especially Christians in the United States. I'm on here, I wanna urge you to pray. I'm going to be praying, we all need to be praying. We need to rise up together as the body of Christ and pray because this amazing opportunity to overturn Roe versus Wade is is being talked about. It's It's a very real possibility and I believe that it is a chance from God, a gift from God for us to remove this abomination from cursing our country. And those are strong words, but it's true. Abortion is not the will of God. Abortion is not okay with God. It's murder. He is pro-life. If you don't believe that, then why did he save your life? All lives matter to him. Innocent blood matters to him. And it is, it is a great sin on our country that it's been legal just across the whole country to murder the innocent blood for as long as we have been. This isn't about what political party you're in. This isn't about your belief in politics or how a country should be run. This is about being a Christian. This is about being a follower of Christ. This is about being a child of God and standing up for what he says is right. So pray and fast and seek the Lord and ask for his mercy to be on the country and ask for this, this opportunity to vote to come through and pray for all of the judges and the, the governors and the lawmakers, just everybody in Washington, everybody standing up for this to be overturned, for Roe versus Wade to be overturned. Pray for protection over them and protection over their families because they're being persecuted for righteousness sake. That is what is happening to them. And even if they're not in the same political party as you, they're standing up for something that you believe in. They're standing up for something that God calls us to stand up for. And Jesus said that you'd be persecuted for righteousness sake. That makes you blessed. So I also wanted to encourage you that while you're praying for Roe versus Wade to be overturned, that you also pray for everyone involved in overturning it.